I still think it looks like real tile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure no one will even <laughs> notice that it's a sticker. <laughs> We really thought we were nailing it last week when we took this pretty much useless space in the front of our airplane and revamped it completely, adding shelves, painting the shelves, turning it into a really cute little closet space. Despite the mishaps with the paint and all the other things, we really thought we were on track to be finishing this closet very soon. Unfortunately, when we came in and saw that the weather changes had completely dismantled the whole sticker backsplash that we had installed, we realized we are gonna have to go back to the drawing board. We're gonna try to figure out how to get that backsplash to stick even with the crazy temperature changes. Also adding in some shiplap that we think will really make this closet pop. They did not work at all. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible, it looked good. You said it looked good before. I just posted a video about how good it's here now. Well, we have to pull that one down. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Got any craft glue? Oh. I have Mod Podge. <laughs> Is that aircraft certified? <laughs> <laughs> craft Mod Podge. I think we'll try to get some contacts in my maybe. Let me do that. Alright. Before we put the uh, shiplap in, we were thinking somebody's gonna wanna charge their phone and this is probably gonna be a spot where people charge things or maybe even a clock. I'm not sure exactly, but we're gonna probably want power here and should have done this before. We're just, we're kinda on a time crunch with the weather, so we're thinking on the fly. So before I do this, I should really go through the work and, and put another outlet here. I'm gonna go ahead at least run the, maybe a chunk of wire and the box. That way it's there. Are you looking for something again? Yes, I'm always <laughs> looking for don't be like this. Don't be disorganized, right? <laughs> I don't know why you can't find anything. It's clearly there's a system here. <laughs> this is the new wire you're running? Yeah. yeah, they're different colors, but they're both 12 gauge two wires and this is just an older remnant from our house that we pulled out was it recycle said. reduce reuse so we're basically trying to figure out where the outlet cover is going to be so that we cut the shiplap tall enough so that we don't have to cut off the outlet and have it look all janky We're gonna need an outlet. So we're gonna need 12 hands.
where's Wicket? <laughs> The rest of the process is pretty much cut the shiplap to length, glue it into place, and then use the nail gun to make sure that it stays nice and secure. Repeat. Board shy. This is the last board you have. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to go inside, take it off our island, and. Yeah? <laughs> no, I have a reserved board. It's just in rough shape. Oh. Very rough shape. Like David said, the last board was in pretty rough shape. In fact, one of the ends had quite a few chips on it and other things. David suggested that I fill it before painting it. I suggested that he do an extra cut. Thankfully, he agreed and we decided on the extra cut. Much better. Can't hear you, my ear plugs in. <laughs> What's that? Real funny. I said it looks much better. <laughs> Are you wanting it to go on either side of this? If it can, that'd be awesome. If I was the one doing all the measuring and cutting, I would say, nope, it can't be done. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't trust this. No, mostly, some people would just go like this and then just do a line. I just, I feel like that's off. Yeah. Good friend. It's fall in Michigan. Which one is this? Oh, oh I think. Okay. I think that's it. Alright. I know, we only have. Yeah, it's fine. One it's shot. Plenty of extra. One shot. It's. Got my airplugs in. Can't hear me. <laughs> you really can't hear me? Yes, you can. No, you can't. What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, when I put in earplugs, they do not work that good. I think you're lying. <laughs> After David got that last piece cut just right, fit into place, glued, and nailed down, it was time for me to put some finishing touches on our tiny home airplane closet. I wanted to make sure I painted the shiplap or nickel gap, whatever you want to call it, so that it didn't have all those smudge marks and weird prints and things on it. So I went ahead and painted that. I then started to paint the bottom portion of the shelf 
And the last thing that I had to do was then paint the trim that would go around the edges of this closet. The shiplap ended up looking so nice and really made it look really finished. So we ended up putting shiplap on the bottom portion of the closet as well. If this is your first time watching, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna throw up our first video here so you can see how this whole crazy journey all got started in the first place.